G'day, Dylan from the Byron Bay Observatory here. I'm sick, so you should pity me. I've been following Comet 2023 Atlas. I'm going to call it Atlas because I can't pronounce Chichison. 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 I took a photo of this comet just recently in RGNB just to see how it was tracking along out there in distant space. That was when I could see it from the observatory. But all eyes are on Comet Atlas because there is so much hype around this comet. But is it going to be a great comet? And what is a great comet anyway? As far as I can tell, the definition great isn't like a hard and fast rule. It's just whether or not it can be easily seen by the general population. Basically very cool to see. What about Halley's Comet? The hype around Halley's Comet was massive. When I was a kid, this was like the media story of the century. Halley's Comet, it's time to go. Was I a good comet? Mm. Halley's Comet doesn't even make NASA's official great list since about 1910. It's become a smudge, but it used to be a great comet according to historical observations. But the king of that list is Comet McNaught. Comet McNaught was life-changing to see. It blew my mind. And according to NASA's list, it was the one with the highest visual magnitude ever. And I don't doubt that for a second. I count myself privileged, really lucky to have seen that thing with my own eyes and even be able to take photos of it. Back then I wasn't into astrophotography, but that it was just such a mind-blowing thing to see in the sky. You could not help but grab your best camera and take as many photos as you could of this thing. So today is just a quick vlog just to show you some of the photos I took of Comet Atlas. Hopefully it comes back and we see it in our sunset. I don't know if it will get to great status. There seems to be a little bit of caution around this right now, but let's check it out anyway. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. <laughs> It's about 3.34 a.m. in the morning and uh, we are up really early because Comet Atlas might be visible. But this kind of early morning astronomy is like not my jam at all. I hate waking up so early. I love to be toasty warm in my bed. Uh, but it's once in a lifetime, right? You've got to do this sort of stuff when these opportunities present themselves. I'm pretty excited. Um, the, I'm on the wide lens now, but I had the long lens on before, and at about a hundred millimeters, it kind of filled up the whole frame. I could see the tail edge to edge before the sun started coming up. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it had the red atmosphere sort of tint to it, and we could see it naked eye. It wasn't really bright naked eye, but it was definitely visible naked eye. In fact, that's how I found it. Uh, just visually because I could see, see the tail coming up over the horizon. Uh, we've got this little 8% moon coming up as well. Uh, there's like no wind here. It's like not even that cold really. So it's just been nice and um, hanging with my boys and behind the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ed, what did you think of it Zen? I think it's good. We get to see the sun rise up. We, I got to see the moon rise up and I got to see the comet. I have better eyes than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
my old eyes uh, couldn't find it sometimes, but um, you saw it naked eye, yeah? Yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. But if you didn't know it was there, you might not know, right? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't really care about it. So. It's pretty dim. It's up there somewhere. It was cool to get some photos of Comet Atlas. I don't know if it's in great status just yet. I would say it's a, a very good comet. Certainly one of the best we've seen around here in the Southern Hemisphere for a while. And I know you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are hanging out to see if it puts on a show up there. So fingers crossed, we all get to see it soon. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and I hope your astrophotography journey is going well. And remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.